God bless everyone who's watching me. I have a word for you. And the word is, you are going to see why it had to be you. I know some people asking God, but why is it me? Why me? Some of you may think that uh, that thing is too big for you. Some of you may think that you cannot get out of that situation. In fact, some of you think you are too old and there is nothing that can happen in your life. But my brothers and sisters, God has chosen you for a reason. There is a reason as to why God has chosen you to do what you are doing right now. There is a reason as to why God has chosen to put you in a place where people are trying to afflict you. Scripture says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all. I know that affliction is not from God. That problem that is around you, it is not from God. But there is a reason as to why God has allowed it to happen. It does not come from him, but there are some things that you need to go through. There are some storms that you need to go through so that you can speak to the storm. Just like Jesus spoke to the storm. He knew that a storm was coming, but he wanted to uh, teach his disciples. In fact, Jesus expected his disciples to speak to the storm. That's why you see when, when, when they are walking from the sleep, he was uh, surprised that he could not speak to the storm. God wants you to speak to your situation. Brothers and sisters, there is a reason why it is you. There is a reason because there is something that you can do that other people cannot do. There is something that is in you. There is treasure in you. There is power in you. In fact, there is Jesus who resides in you and he has given you a task. Remember, you are not on this planet earth by mistake. You are not here for, by a coincidence. There is a reason as to why God has created you. You have a purpose to play. Brothers and sisters, there is a reason as to why you are going through that problem. And can you trust God in that problem that you will come out of it victorious? Some of you are about to come out of your situation. Some of you are about to come out of your debt. So don't lose your hope on Jesus Christ. Never allow anyone to take you off the road, off the way. And Jesus refers to himself as the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to the Father. It is only through Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, this is a word of encouragement. And I want to encourage you that God knows exactly. He has chosen you. You are a chosen generation. And until next time, God bless you.